hello 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 it's sunday night and i'm very happy to be here i'm happy that you're here too i can see we have lots of girls already i shouldn't say girls because we could have guys right it's this is not gender specific although we do seem to have mostly girls i can see we have lots of Jean, you were first here tonight hi how are you is it still hot in the oregon because it's certainly not here <laughs> it's nice and cold Although um, the, the beginning of winter seemed to be colder. It seems to have eased off. It's not as cold as it was. Either that or I'm, I think I'm more dressing. I've, made, I've got extra layers on, so that's probably helping as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's raining a lot. As Margaret said, we've got flooding and torrential rain again for a whole week. We had this earlier in the year and there was huge, huge problems. And um, it's back. Not Not very good that it's back, but it is. So i um, just going to have a little look here. I see my daughter is texting me. It's always the way, isn't it? Ah, she wants to know she can work tomorrow morning. Sorry, I had to look at that. All right. Um, hey, Kay, nice to see you here. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better. I know you weren't that well the other day. Donna, how, we've, got, we've got a great crowd. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Rose. So I'm not going to spend all night saying hi to everyone because you know how it is. I end up spending all night just chatting instead of doing the things. Um, welcome, Rosalind. I don't think we've met before. So hi. Hi, Salt Vega. <laughs> all right. I'm going to get started pretty quickly tonight. And the first thing I wanted to say to you, first of all, if you're on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that because that really helps me. Um, it helps you guys too because you get to see when I'm going live. But it also means that I'm able to, to spread the word and, and get my stuff out there. So please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of what I get up to. That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, Shannon, hi. Yes, big torrential rain here too. We're on the central coast. Um, and so, yeah, it's it's pretty been pretty crazy we're in the in the um in the flood zone although where i live we've got no danger of that we're we're kind of in a good spot we don't get floods here there's no water immediately around us hey lynn all right let me just tell you quickly um i'm about to launch my next online class doesn't feel very long since we just had the last one does it they come around so quickly i'm trying to get them happening a little bit earlier in the month um, partly because um, I'm going away in August, um, towards the end of August, and so I'm going to make sure that next month is definitely happening early in the month, and so I'm trying to get a bit early in this month as well um, so they're not all too close together. So um, with that being said, I know there's a couple of people who've told me they're waiting until the class opens before they place their order. Can I just ask, um, if you want to do the class, even though I haven't released the projects yet, if you um, want to do the class, you can go ahead and order now. I do have a host code already that you're welcome to use, or you can just let me know that you'd like to do the class. That would be fine. Um, I do have a code, and I'm going to pop it um, pop it up so that, in fact, I'll type it right now and pop it on the screen so that um, if you wanted to use the code when you're placing your order, so if you see something tonight and you think, oh, yes, I'd like to order that, um, you can go ahead and still qualify for the class. Okay, even though I haven't released the projects yet. Um, and that's asking that's asking you guys to trust me. But I do have some people that order every month to get the class no matter what. Um, so if that's you and you're ready to order now, you don't have to wait until I open the class. I will have the projects up. I'll show you a couple of the ones I'm thinking about tonight. Um, and then we can go from there. All right. So I don't want you to wait because if something sells out or goes out of stock that you really wanted, um, I would feel really bad if you were waiting for me to release my class to get it. So... I don't want that to happen. Hi, Sigrid. How are you? Nice to hear from you from Germany. All right. So let's switch over to the desk and see how we go. All right. I've got my got my pretty, this is the new in-colour grid paper with the pretty little design on it. I, I think I should make, I think I've mentioned this before, I should make a card or two out of this grid paper. I think it's really pretty. But, of course, now we have our mini catalogue. And we also have this one. We have the celebration catalogue. So I'm going to show you something out of both tonight. Um, which I think is always always good to see. Um, they have done, again, they've done this before, but they've done some things that are in here match things that are in here and vice versa. So, for example, in the mini catalogue, it's so nice that I can show you the inside now, we have this Trees for Sale stamp set, really, really cute stamp set all by itself. 
nothing um, else in the catalog here that goes with it but there is a free celebration item these tree lot dies these trees cut out these okay and you know match up with the lights and all the other bits and pieces so this is the die set it's free with a $180 order it's a, two, a level two set so if you had this on your order and you've got a few other things as well and you get close to that 180 mark you might want to think about getting the tree lot dies that match the tree trees for sale stem set so I thought I'd show you those tonight because I think they're super cute and the thing that I love most about this um the die set does anyone know what it is we did talk about it the other night it's super cute oh my goodness I'm just think it's the cutest thing all right these are the tree lot dies the caravan I know right that's it that's it Megan it's the cutest little thing here it is here can you see it how gorgeous is that and I was thinking how does this kind of go with that when you cut this out I'll show it to you in a second but when you cut this out it actually cuts two pieces it's not one it's two so let me get out I've cut these out in advance just so that you didn't have to sit there and watch me to cut out all the pieces because I thought we'd make a little scene today and so I cut them out and thought I like um, the caravans in this kind of aqua color it reminds me of kind of a retro 70s kind of a caravan I know the caravan everyone loves it in Australia we say caravan in America they say trailer or camper so um you know a little bit of a different thing so this is the caravan and I've cut it out of coastal cabana um that, that beautiful aqua color and then I've also cut just the bottom bit I cut because I wanted the tire to be black so I'm actually I'm actually going to put this together and show you how I I haven't done this before but I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do so I'm just going to cut that little tire off just need the just need the tire that's the only bit I need and I'm gonna and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our multi-purpose you could also use you could use whatever glue you like but I think probably multi-purpose is the easiest to work with and then I'm just going to pop that there and then it's got black tie I could have done it in gray too but I've just I've chosen to do it in black so now we have a black tire on our little camper van isn't this the cutest so this here these two pieces see these this is the bit when it's like that 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 funny little die this one here this one cuts these two pieces can you see that so this bit here goes down the bottom of the camper or the trailer or the caravan whatever we're calling it in Australia definitely a caravan right and the top bit goes up up here so we end up with a a white and aqua caravan if we're going to do it like that <laughs> hey Ellen thank you for helping me out last night on it we had um for those who don't know I know we've got a few girls from the team here but last night we had a team um catalog launch which was heaps of fun um and Ellen helped me with that with our team because Ellen's a super important part of my team and um she ran the trivia section so we had like a little catalog kind of trivia game that we played which was fun and you did a great job thanks Ellen you found your actual card oh cool that's cool all right so I'm just going to put these on so I'm just kind of sticking all the bits together now you could just leave the caravan the way it is because it's got all the little score lines to show you so you don't have to go this much trouble but this is kind of it's kind of fun putting it together and it reminds me of doing a jigsaw puzzle and I like jigsaw puzzles so if you like puzz putting puzzles together you might like to do this too and if you don't like it you can just cut out the caravan exactly the way it is this guy and he's fine as it is all right now I've got a couple of other bits all right I cut this little the um what do you call this like the bit that plugs into the trailer I cut that out of silver foil and so I'm just going to just going to cut that off and I'm going to glue that right on there so it's got like a metal looks like a metal little tow bar tow bar that's what it's called why did I forget that well I've the adventures of me in the last 24 hours I've almost burned our house down oh time to take the code down yep thanks Michelle thank you I love how you guys um 
you use capitals so that I know that you're yelling at me in case I can't hear you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to pop this on here so it looks like it's a little metal tow bar. You could do that in black too, I guess. But anyway, I like the idea of using silver foil to make it. Oh, I've got to make it stick though. I should be using tweezers to hold this in place. Even my take, take your pick tool, I could probably get that. To, I'll just leave that for a second and it won't take long to dry. All right, then we've got a couple of other cute things. So I've cut out, this is a little wreath. So if you're having a camper van at Christmas time, here's, here's the little wreath here. And I was thinking I should have put the little bow on it. That would have been a cute idea. I could have cut that out of um, the red glimmer paper, this stuff that is also in our new catalogue. We've got these are six by six sheets. Um, there's red glimmer and white glimmer. And I do love all things glittery. So the little bow cut out of this would be super cute. And that would look really nice on this. I'm actually going to pop a little bit of Tombow behind this. Who likes doing this kind of things? Uh, this, this is, Michelle, this is my idea of fun. So, you know, I love playing with little dies like this. They're fun, fun, fun to do. And whoever made these, I'm sure they knew that whoever used them was going to be having fun with them. All right, so a couple of things we can do. We can cut out the red. Let's let's see. You guys can let me know. We can cut out the red glitter paper with the bow and put the bow at the bottom of the wreath, which or the top of the wreath, either one, which would look super cute. See the little bow here? Can you see it? And then so I, you could either put it at the top or put it at the bottom. Probably the top, but I don't know. The other option we have is, well, there's a couple of options actually. Here's another nice idea. We also have the fabulous uh, red and green. Well, it says on the packaging, red and green adhesive back pearls, but in the catalogue they're not called that, so it's a little bit of a discrepancy between what's written on the packaging and what's in the catalogue, okay? In the catalogue these are called festive pearls. Hey, friend, nice to see you. Or <laughs> you want to cut out... Oh, people are saying that, that I haven't even told you what the choices are yet, guys. <laughs> so um, up towards the back here, page 59, you've got these little um, these little pearlized enamel effects. I'm doing my technique class here in the studio this month with these. Okay, so if you would like to come along, I still have a couple of spots left. I've got a daytime and an evening class, and there's only a couple of spots left. So... Um, I have more spots left in the evening than I do in the daytime. The daytime tends to fill, uh, fill up really quickly. These are really cute, and we could dot some of those onto our wreath. And let me show you what they look like, okay? Um, these festive pearls, as they are in the catalogue, are part of this uh, Lights of Glow suite. Here they are here on page 31, okay? And it shows you the four colours. Um, the four colours are cherry cobbler, soft succulent, silver and gold. And I really, really like them. They're really nice. Um, the easiest way to apply them is to grab your um, a pokey tool of some kind and just lift them off with the pokey tool and just, you know, deliver them where they need to go, all right? So just like that. And then put it wherever, you know, I could put some of those little guys around my wreath and that would be quite cute. Um, do you see how I've got one up here? Can you see that? Except I promise you, oh, I can't get in front of the camera. looks like one of these. But it isn't. It's actually a dot of those pearlized effects. Okay. So I wanted to see how close in color they were. And they're almost exactly the same color as the cherry cobbler um, pearls. And this is the way it comes in the bottle. All right. And when you put them on, you just, you just dot it on. Um, I've heard a couple of people say, so it doesn't look so much like a Hershey's Kiss. So it hasn't got that pointy bit on it that you just flick the back of the paper. But... My experience with these so far, I don't know whether it's the climate or what it is, is that it doesn't stay pointy. It goes down and becomes rounded anyway. Okay, so even if you don't flick the back of the paper, like that's not pointy anymore. That one is actually getting to be quite round now. So let me just see if I have a piece here. Give me one second. I did have a piece out earlier that I had dotted some of these on yesterday and they dried and I did one of the black one of the white and one of the red so I had the, all three colors 
and I was going to show them to you and now I don't know what I put where I put that so it may sh it may show up on my table here somewhere at some stage of the evening because that's what normally tends to happen is I find things after I say I've lost something as you know but anyway I can't see it right now but yeah it's somewhere the black is nice the black kind of looks like a gray like a gray a gray pearl like pewter it, it is more pewter than it is black yes they do I found if I dotted them on Megan that I had about 30 minutes in it if before it was touch dry so the secret is you need to put them away where you can't like in a little container or something that you can't put your hands or put anything else on top of it so otherwise you're going to mess it up but if you can leave them for about 30 minutes they're dry enough that you can um, you can move on so so what <laughs> Jody that's funny um, the glitter bow okay everyone's saying the glitter bow but anyway just wanted to give you an idea that these are another nice alternative okay so you could also play with those right so let me put this back in here let's grab our little bow here it is and I've got my I've got my glimmer paper And I'm going to bring in my, I'm going to use my big, big shot, even though it's a tiny bow and I certainly could use a little one because just the, the big one's closer. <laughs> and I'm going to pull the phone back so you can see what I'm doing and also see more of my mess, but that's okay. Messy crafters are creative crafters and I just figure I'm really, really, really creative. So... So let us get the little bow. And the good thing about the bow is it's so tiny that you can use up a little, you know, tiny little bits of scraps. <laughs> so you don't even have to, let me put that on here. Isn't it little? It's so cute. Um, if you are very, the dots possibly are a little bit big, but they're very small. So I think you'd get away with it, but you might only be able to have three of them on there. Otherwise it might be a bit over the top. All right. Now I need to be careful. I don't I'll put this down here because I don't want to lose, misplace that because it's so little. And let's put this back down again. Yeah, so last night I managed, I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I'm in the middle of a creative stage, ooh, shall we have the bow at the top of the wreath or at the bottom of the wreath? What do people think? It probably fits better at the bottom actually, but what do you think? Top or bottom? Isn't it cute? It's the cutest little bow ever. Ah, oh, goodness. All right, so that's what it looks like at the top of the wreath. Bottom says Megan. Bottom says Joan. Okay, bottom it is, girls. So I'm actually going to dot some um, Tombow on the back of this. Or a glue dot probably would be a good idea, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Now I've done the Tombow, glue dot probably would have been better, but okay. And, oh, I do have a pair of tweezers. Give me a second. Has anyone got the new tweezers yet? These are my old Stampin' Up! tweezers. They're reverse tweezers too, but the new ones that are in the, um, the embossing kit, um, those are also reverse tweezers. All right, I'm just going to pop that there. I'm going to leave it there for a minute and it will dry. How cute is that? Look at that. Cutest little thing ever. All right. Now, there is one other thing that was in the bag, and I don't know whether I have pushed it out of the way goodness me I might have to make another one did anyone see what happened to the curtains <laughs> there's little yellow curtains that I cut out they could still be in the bag because they're so tiny it's not funny or they could have fallen down oh well oh there they are look they're here they are <laughs> all right so the little curtains yeah oh. Where, where should I put these? Should I put them on the inside or on the outside? Makes more sense to have them on the inside, but I probably need to 
Hmm. Just wondering how I'm going to get them to stick because it's so little. But these are really fun. Tiny little bit of glue. You saw it, <laughs> saw it on the desk, yep, yeah. inside, I know. I know, just that the outside it probably would be easier to stick it so more shows, but there we go. You can just see them. Can you see that? Cute. <laughs> All right, it's coming together. There's our little, so now we need to put it on a card, and I'm deciding whether to do a white background or whether I'm going to put it on a darker background. So this is what it would look on a, on a white background, and then we're going to have to we're going to do some other things here. But I also have some other options. So I have some different neutrals that would also look quite good. I'm deciding whether I want to use one of these. This is grey granite. I think that's too dark. Smoky slate. Smoky slate might work, or Sahara sand. And I'm thinking maybe smoky slate. What do people think? Zoom in more, please. I can't, Jody. Um, I'm so sorry. This is as far as I can zoom in. I think. Yeah. I. Smoky slate says Michelle. Yep. Yeah, okay. Smoky slate it is, girls. So let's do that. And. Right, so what I'm thinking is I want to create a, like a little forest behind my my camper van. So we're going to have some trees going on up here. I mean, this is an idea, a concept I've got in my head that may or may not work, but let's find out. Now I have got the green that I used in here for the wreath is garden green, which is very, very strong. It might be too dark. So I maybe will come down to maybe mint macaron. Let me see how strong this is going to be. And I'll give it a try. So the tree lot dies. Sorry, the tree, um, what are they called? Trees for sale is the stamp set. And we've got all these great trees. So let me start with the big tree and we'll see how that goes. I wonder if that one's going to be too big. No, I don't think so. I think it's going to be good. Blend some hills. Oh, we could do that too. There's so many different things you could do, really. I'm going to just see how strong this mint macaron is. I think it's, yeah, see, even that is strong. It's not as strong as the, the, um, as the garden green, but I should maybe stamp it off. But you know what? I made a, I'm making a decision. I'm going to go straight on and a little bit above halfway. All right, and then I'm going to do a couple more, but I'm not going to re-ink. So we're going to have, sort of have a couple of them next to each other and you can kind of see this is going to end up sort of down in here might need to do something what do we think about we don't really want to see the trees through the window so I'm wondering hmm thinking 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 let me have a quick look sometimes okay this is what I do sometimes a vellum window that's a good idea Vellum window is a really good idea. The aspen tree die? I don't think I know that one, Michelle. Do I know that one? All right, so let's have a look. What did they do? Okay, here you can see they've just put a white piece, and I, I don't really like that either. I don't really want to do that. This one has got like a Sahara's. They've used um, so saffron or a really light cream, creamy yellow color behind there. It does look like so saffron and white curtains. So they've done a couple of different things with the ones that are in here. But I think you're right. I think a vellum window is a really great idea. So, and you know what? When you cut this, this piece here falls out and actually is obviously the perfect size for the window because it is the window. So let me just see. I'm going to grab some vellum. I love that idea. Thank you for the suggestion. That's really good. I love that when I get stumped sometimes I can ask you guys and someone always has the answer someone's always ready to go with with a really good answer I think it's great um, I'm wondering if we should give these trees some detail because we can obviously we've got the detail here so I could do that in fact I think I probably will let me cut this paper so 
So sometimes when I finish these videos and I put up the pictures of the cards, I don't really think of them as my cards. I think of them as our cards because I feel like you guys contributed so much to the designs on occasion. So, you know, I get the credit for it, but, you know, really, <laughs> you guys are also part of the process. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this here and it's going to cut out the window perfectly. Does that make sense? All right, let's quickly cut this out. Move that again. I'm not going to... I'm not going to zoom out this time because I'm just going to do it really, really fast. Let's go out. Oh, I haven't even noticed those, I don't think. Page 46. Ah, all right. Let me have a quick look at that one because I really need to know now what that's all about. Oh, now, can you see what's fallen out here? This is the window, little vellum window. We have the perfect perfect size and shape because it's from the die. All right so when I end up putting this in this is going to go I'm wondering what the best way probably because we've got the the um the curtain there we can probably stick it a little bit to the curtain in fact yeah maybe I'll do that I might even use I'm wondering about this. I'm thinking about using dimensionals with this and I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to use two dimensionals just over this tiny edge so they're on the curtain but not showing on the other side. Look, see it looks really good. All right so then while we're here we will add a few other dimensionals. Um, and maybe a mini one here. All right, I'm just going to set that to one side for the minute. My personal opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, it would be good to have the vellum a little bigger, and I could do that. Like, I could have just cut a piece to put behind here. Um, but that's actually okay because when it's flat, it's actually going to look like the window's a little bit inset and I think that looks rather nice. So um, that's going to work out okay. All right, so while we've got our mint macaron here, I'm going to just use the same colour and I'm going to use the matching um, detail die which matches these trees. So we'll just pop that on a block and that in. It won't stand out as much on the middle tree but it still stands out enough. There we go. Looking good. The combi. Oh yes possibly. And you know what else we do have that's current? This is from, you know the He's the Man Here's all that um, paper that we've got in the annual catalogue. This is from that. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, if I was to match up the colours, I'm sure we could do something with that. It's kind of cute, right? <laughs> but anyway, that's that's from that paper. So it, it's one of the die cuts in that paper. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun, right? So this is going to come down here a little bit. Now I'm looking at this and I should have put my trees further up. They're a little bit too low down. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. All right. So seeing as seeing as we have got with the design has come down a little bit, I'm just thinking there's another in here. There's these cute little cute little um, starry kind of stamps, these little guys here. So I'm going to pop those on a little block, block A actually. And I'm thinking I will use maybe, I'm going to be a bit bold. We're going to go Knight of Navy and see how that goes. And I'm going to stamp every second one, ink it back up. I'm 
just have some little stars in the sky there. And because we can, the colour of my combi is Coastal Cabana. I'm wondering about maybe blending a little bit of Coastal Cabana out or I could go Balmy Blue. Balmy Blue is probably more in keeping with the navy. Maybe. Will my combi still go with that? I think it will. Yeah, it will, even though it's a different tone. So let's give that a try. There is a die for the puppy dog. Yes. <laughs> There's 20, I think it's 24 dies. It's, yeah, 24. It's really sizable. Look, here's the puppy. Puppy dog. See him? Isn't he cute? <laughs> it's a really, really good set. And I'd say this is definitely worth being a level two set. It's definitely um, with so many dies in the pack and so, so useful. I just think it's really fun. All right. So I'm just giving this a little bit more color a pop of color yes i think actually maybe we will add the little puppy what do you think should we do that that's a good idea <laughs> all right so i've got a little bit of color coming up in this now then we've got our caravan down here and i do think i probably should have pushed it up a little bit but we'll get away with it I still like it. Take the backs off these. And I'm just going to use my turkey pick tool to get that off. Just going to pop that. Do you think in the middle or to one side? What do you think? I normally go to one side, but in this case, I'm not sure. Maybe in the middle. So here's an idea. If I move this down a little bit further, now I'm getting quite close to the bottom. Originally, I was going to put my greeting at the bottom. I could, if I wanted to, put my greeting at the top. I mean, that's another option side middle side oh 46 let me look at that page michelle because you keep talking about the aspen die and i'm like i don't know which one you mean oh now i know okay aspen tree dies yes yes that's a really good idea actually i don't have those yet but they're very very attractive do you know why i didn't get it i'm going to give you guys just a little bit of actually i love nearly every single thing in this catalog but this bird bothers me. He looks like he's he looks like he's not well. And and that's why I went over that. But I love the dyes. Absolutely love the dyes. So I probably will end up getting it, but the birdie kind of bothers me. Does anybody else feel that? Yes, so yes. So right, if we're gonna put the oh the dog with his face looking out the window. Ooh, that's a bit ambitious. We could maybe. Hey, Wendy, that sounds like a nice thing to be doing, picking strawberries. How nice. Obviously, it's not winter where you are. <laughs> All right, I'm just pulling this up really carefully because I'm wanting to reposition it. Because if I'm going to put the dog on, he's going to be further down in front. So with that in mind, and if I'm going to have the doggy here to one side I want him kind of over here so then the caravan would be better to one side all right it's coming together all right so you can see our little doggy here I also love these little paw prints going off into the forest I think that's really really cute all right so let's get our doggy out and I'm going to put the little doggy on um what color should we make our doggy guys what color would you make your doggy if you were going to make a doggy? We could have a grey doggy, like a darker grey than this. I don't really want him to be brown. 
do you agree the bird looks a little or oh, it turns out nice maybe i should give it a try maybe i should oh campology tree step that's a good idea yes Right, so I'm thinking maybe putting this little guy here and we'll stamp him on white, I think. Let me grab a piece of white. Black, maybe. Oh, black and white dog. Well, yeah, we could. I'm going to stamp him on white here. So brown, black, everyone's got a different idea. Black and white dog. You certainly could do all kinds of things with the dog. Yes, Versamark, you could do, hmm. But Megan was first and Megan said brown. What kind of brown, Megan? Do you mean like a espresso brown or light a light brown? Like a, hmm. I mean, I'll stamp him a couple of different colours and then we can make a decision. What do you think? Because everyone seems to have a different opinion on this one. Okay, this is a crumb cake puppy. This is a soft suede puppy. Oh, that misstamped a little bit. You know what I'm not doing? It's a solid stamp and I want to make sure I have a mat underneath because you get a better image when you use a piercing mat underneath your work. See how much nicer that stamps? It's a better quality stamp. Early espresso isn't going to be a lot darker than that. I actually think soft suede or or we could do a gray one as well see the early espresso is only slightly darker black says jody black well i've got memento so let's give that a try i'm wondering if this is going to be strong enough Too many dogs. Too many choices. What do we think? Shall I try a grey one? Let's try a smoky smoke, slate doggy, seeing as our background is smoky slate. Let's give that a whirl. I can't decide now. I've given myself too many choices. I can't just stamp dogs all day. <laughs> Although it's kind of fun, I've got to tell you. Ah, lots and lots of different comments. The black one looks like he's got a little pa a patch on him. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Shall we go black then? Oh, I don't know. Any, many, money, mo. They all look good. We could have a whole pack of dogs. Hey, I, I could go dog sledding with these dogs, right? <laughs> Has anyone ever been sledding? That was on my bucket list at one point. I don't know whether it still is, but at one point I often said I'd love to go dog sledding. I think I'd still like to do it. Maybe go to Alaska again and and go dog sledding. Right. So in our dice, maybe I should throw the die and see which one it lands on, and that's the one we'll do. Oh, Jenny, that's so that's so ambitious. She, Jenny wants one in the window and two outside running around. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the smoky slate guy. And pop that through. Oh, I moved it. Oh, no, I didn't. No, it's all right. Oh, give it a push. You like the black with the patch? One on the roof. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is this is gonna be a dog card, not a caravan card. Right, I'm gonna do the black now. Because we do seem to have a lot of votes for black. There we go. Jody say. Ooh, that's that's cool. 
Oh, look, I messed up the black one. I messed him up. I cut him a little bit, a bit too much edge there. It's all right. This one is cut better. Jenny said you can't have one inside and one outside because they'll get lonely. Well, last night I got so into my um, preparation for um, our team Zoom that I totally forgot I had a pizza in the oven and completely burnt it. Nearly burnt the house down in the process. And this afternoon I did it again, but this time I did it with popcorn and the whole house smells like burnt popcorn. And that's not good. All right, I'm thinking this little guy is looking pretty pretty cool. So um, you can have him just sort of walking along like this and I'll pop him on dimensionals. Or I kind of like the idea of having him sort of jumping up in the air like that. I think that makes him look kind of fun, like he's having a good time. So that's good, right? So shall we do that? So let's put a couple of mini dimensionals behind him. Oh, yes, I will have to cut the brown one. You are correct. Go grey. I'm just, you know, we'll just see which one I which one I want to have. All right, so I'm actually just going to put the front dimensional behind him because actually I should put one behind his bottom as well, behind his back legs. There we go. Here he is. Don't want to completely cover up my tyre. But actually, I need to be careful. I don't want him to look like he's lifting his leg on the tyre. Do you think that looks too much like that? I know, burnt popcorn. The whole house smells like burnt popcorn. Ellen, don't come over. It's awful. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Well, we had the same thing. I sm smoked the house out today, Jenny. So, all right. So I'm actually really liking this. is coming together really nicely. All right. So I'm thinking at this point that we just need a sentiment. We've got a couple. We've got So Very Merry. We've got Christmas Greetings. You Light Up the Season. Now, these are longish ones. Christmas Greetings is not quite as long as You Light Up the Season. But I, if I, for me to use a long one, I'd have to go right down here across the bottom, and I feel like it might be better if it's up here. So the So Very Merry might be better because it should fit in here. Or I could actually borrow from a different set, um, which I'm tempted to do. So... This one here, the Leaves of Holly, we've got from our home to yours to friends near and far. These are little and they, or joy or peace, and they would fit really nicely just down here in this little space underneath the caravan. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one, Jean. Goodness me, I felt so, so bad. <laughs> you like this card, Michelle? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> ah, no. Don't come over here. Goodness me. It's just awful, that smell. Horrible, horrible. All right. So let me see. I've got to friends near and far. Shall we do friends near and far? Is that sort of cute? All right. So I'm just going to pop that there and grab a, a little block. And I'm thinking which color will we go? I'm thinking maybe the navy because we've got that in the sky and we'll bring it down to the bottom as well. Our home with the caravan. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that down here. Just like that. So it's actually a really simple little card, really, but we spent most of the time putting the caravan together. Um, but I think it's kind of fun. Do we like it? Do you like this? <laughs> so very merry would have worked well too, Margaret, I think. But, yeah, I've just decided to borrow from a, I just wanted something smaller, so um, I borrowed from a different set. So there we go. I'm going to call that done. Um, something else you could do if you felt like it, you could add some puff paint to the trees. Um, I've been playing with puff paint the last couple of days. I showed some of the girls last night on the team, the team live. Um, I, we did this card. Um, and I hope you can see it. Can you see I've added puff paint to this? Puff paint is heaps of fun. You just need you need to apply it like a liquid and then you heat it up with a heat tool. So is the wheel a separate die? 
Um, this actually, what I did, you missed that bit, Wendy. I think all I did was I cut the caravan again in black and then cut the wheel off. <laughs> the wheel is actually included in the caravan, and I just did it a second time in a different color and cut it to make the black tire. So, so can you see the wheel is attached? So when I cut it in black, I actually just cut the bottom bit and then just cut the the tire off and stuck it over the top of this one. Bling says Jody. Okay, bling it is. What? Well, um, actually. We've got a few choices for bling, haven't we? So we could we could go bling with the um, with the pearls, and we could add some little red ones, maybe that's going to pull this um, red from the ribbon in, or we could use silver or gold, or we could go with our um, pearl elements too. We could use those, or of course you've got the good old iridescent rhinestones. They always look good with everything. It is a cute card. Rhinestones amongst the stars. Well, maybe you guys are talking about rhinestones. You're very welcome to case it. Of course you can. I thought it was just fun. You know, it's just fun to have to muck around with a cute die set and make a little scene. Um, you know, it it's it just feels good. It's a cute little thing to do. So, did we decide? Did we decide which ones? Whether we're going to go rhinestones or pearls? Does anyone have any thoughts of that? Ah, there you go. Yeah, it's interesting. Quite often they just have two rear wheels at the back and then they just pull from the, the, the trailer, from the tow bar on, on the vehicle. So there's not always – depends on the size. A bigger caravan, you'd need more wheels, obviously. This is obviously a very little one, but it's kind of cute. So I'm thinking rhinestones. Everyone else is thinking rhinestones? Awesome. Yes, you could have several doggies running around and you can, as you can see, this one is up and if we then put him down so he's got all four paws on the ground, he looks like a different dog. So you could have several dogs doing, you know, different things. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to pop a rhinestone here and another here and a little guy up the top there, I think. There we go. We'll call that, we'll call that done bit of fun but I just love this caravan and if you've been wanting to see how it works I think that's a really great way to show you how you put the caravan together and how much fun it is to do any starbling um I don't know that's a good question I mean we have these little starry looking things here that we oh look there's some stars you could cut some stars so you could cut some stars with the this is the red glimmer paper that um, we just cut that bow with, but you could cut. It's not just red, so you could. It's some half the sheets are red and half of them are like like shiny shiny white glitter. So you could cut your stars with that. That'd look cute, huh? Oh, that's okay. I'm <laughs> You're so funny, Michelle. You better you better. You better private me, message me your address. Otherwise, I can't send it to you. And Jodie, yours is still coming. I'm sorry, honey. I haven't got it in the post yet. I've had a big week. <laughs> so we've got a couple of girls out there waiting for cards now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Shall we make another card? Let's do that, shall we? Let me just move these couple of things out of the way. And we'll do one more. Just something simple. So I thought I might show you um, a few cards that I've made already with the Bows of Holly set because, like I said, that's going to be my online class this month. And some of you have already seen a couple of these. So I know some of you who were watching last Thursday, if you haven't seen me make this card, that was Thursday's live video. So you can go back and have a look at that one, the last day of June. Um, and so that was the card we made. And this is the beautiful pa uh, paper that goes with the Bows of Holly suite. Um, and that's the matching ribbon that's in the suite. I use the distressed gold paper to cut out the label here on the front. And I'll tell you something else. Um, I saw, because here's the dies, okay. Thank you. I really like this card too. I think it worked out really well. That's okay. You can always watch the first part later. <laughs> You're so cheeky, Michelle. All right, so it took me a little while. I'm thinking, what the heck is this shape here? Does anyone realize what it is? It took me a while to work out what it was. I thought it maybe matched one of these leaves. It doesn't. It took me ages to work out. It matches these leaves 
behind here. So this is actually the same shape. Actually, there it goes. This is the same shape, so you can put a different color behind there. Okay, so for example, let me show you one I've done already. Um, so the, this one has got nothing behind there, and you can see straight through it to the backing piece that I stamped. And that's okay, it looks fine, but it does kind of... Um, what's the word it it's conflicts a little bit with the background okay and so this is to stop that so you can put another piece behind to make it more of a solid a solid one let me just show you all right so this is one of the cards i'm thinking about doing it's got a matching envelope i'm thinking about doing this card possibly for the online class so you may see this one show up but i haven't decided definitely which ones that's why i haven't haven't uploaded them yet but see this shape here, okay, it cuts out. I think I cut one. Give me a second. I did cut one, and now, of course, it has gone a wall. I cut a green, a green piece, but anyway, I'll be able to show you even without it. Um, so this piece here actually fits in behind here, so you can cut that. Well, I can't put it in there, of course, because, oh, yeah, I can. Uh, is it that way? No, the other way. That way there. And so when you put this in behind, you can have another, you know, another, I could do another piece in this colour, which is what I did cut earlier. And then that will fit behind there and so it won't clash with the background. So this funny shape is for the ones that are coming off the label. That's what that's for. It took me a little while to work it out. I was like, where, what, is, what, what is that for? But that's what it is. So there you go. And so this is a maybe. These are cards and matching envelope. These are also a celebration item. There are 20 cards and 20 envelopes. On the package it says 40. And I guess if you're counting all of them, then you'd think you were going to get, you could possibly think you're going to get 40 cards and 40 matching envelopes, but it's 40 in total. So it's 20 cards. 10 of the cards are pool party and 10 of 10 of the cards are um, mint mackerel. So let me show you. They're really nice. They're meant to, they kind of go with the Splendid Day Suite, but I've used them here, as you can see, with um, the Bowers of Holly. So you're not you're not um, confined to only using that particular suite. You can use any suite you like, really, just match up the colours. Um, so can you see the design on the front of this? It's got like a little leafy, hard to see in this light, little leafy design. And that's the mint. And then if you look, go down towards the bottom then you've got and they've already pre-scored as well so when you you know you don't need to worry about where you're going to fold them they're already ready to go this one is the pool party and that's got like a little leaf design on it as well okay um they are an american size card megan um so i thought they might be note card size they're bigger than that but they are you know this is your um five and a half by eight and a half sheet not um not a, not half a sheet of A4, it's half a sheet of letter cardstock. I'm not particularly worried about that because, you know, they have matching envelopes that are also the right size. So, um, and they'll still fit, you know, they're going to go in your envelope. So the envelopes are cute too. See, so they've got little foliage on them there. And on the inside, you've got your little, your little corresponding paper, coordinating paper. So, yeah, 20 envelopes. The envelopes are all the same. They're all green with the blue on the inside, that blue paper on the inside. But the cards, there's 10 of each of the two colours. One is Pool Party and one is Mint Macaron. Show size, size comparison? Sure. So American sizing is like there's, their cards are squarer. So a little bit shorter. Can you see how much shorter it is? It's about, mm, I know. Well, it's more than half a centimetre, but not as much as a centimetre. So it's about three quarters of a centimetre. So about seven, maybe seven millimetres um, shorter. And theirs are longer than, uh, wider than ours. So theirs is about half a centimetre wider, which means, so can you see that? Try and bring it up. See how much shorter? So this ends up, this is a squarer card. Ours is more rectangular. So... Not, not a lot of difference in it, but definitely when you're looking at the card, it definitely looks like a square shape. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I hope that was helpful. 
So, um, yeah. Now on this one, I use Calypso Coral as my berry underneath and then Cherry Cobbler on top. On this one, I've used Cherry Cobbler underneath and Real Red on top. So you can sort of mix and match your different colours um, to get different coloured berries and bits and pieces. So, yeah. So this card is not in the class, but this one might be. Um, that one's not. This one might be. Let me grab it for you. This one might be. That's a possibility. Um, this is some of the background paper. You can see the um, evening evergreen stripy paper there. And then we've also got some wooden elements here. Um, now, <laughs> I have fussy cut this flower. All right. However, I will be putting in an alternative that for those of you who do not like to fussy cut, don't have to have this. And I'll have an alternative for those of you who don't want to fussy cut. So you'll have a choice. All right. But I love this little this little label die. I think that's really great. That's it there. Is that cute? All right. So I'm going to close that up. I'm just thinking, are there any other cards in here I was going to show you? You've seen all these. Look, we did this one on Friday night. I really liked that card. I thought that was I thought that was a ton of fun. So yeah. Getting, getting a nice little body of work going as far as I, I like just sitting down and creating with a new catalogue and then coming up with different ideas and things to, to play with, really. Um, something I do would like to show you at some point, I have got quite a lot of sets that I haven't showed you yet. Um, such as I've got the hippos, but I haven't used them yet. Does everyone realise that the hippo stamp set is a $90, um, a $90 um, purchase? If you're buying $90 worth of stuff, you get it for free. Here they are. Aren't they cute? I'll use them another night. And then here, for another $90, you can get the dies as well. So those are really cute together. So, you know, if you want to pace yourself and just get one now and the other one later, or you can get them both at the same time. Super cute. So I haven't used them yet, but you'll see those popping up because they are fun. All right. So the next thing I wanted to show you, thumbs up, yes? Oh, okay. Well, the good thing about classes, Jenny, is that um, there are two ways to get them. You can either pay $20 and get the tutorial, or if you want me to send you the supplies, you're placing an order of $50 or more, okay? However... Um, the good thing is you can do them whenever you like. So if you're sick or you've got to go away or something, you just you just do it when you like because it's a pre-recorded video. You stop and start it. You can do one today, one next week, one the week after, or you can just do them all in a month's time, whatever you like. You never lose the content. Once you've got it, you've always got the private link to that video forever. So, um, so yeah, I think I think it's a really great um, a great way to do classes because you're not constrained to any particular time. You just do them in your own time. Oh, that's a good idea, Megan. I must think I, I would really like to do that, actually. I'd like to do lots of little, because as you know, I love creating scenes. I mean, as I've just done, I love creating scenes. So I can see the hippos showing up in, in a whole bunch of different environments. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Nice to see you. All right. Okay. Something else about the code, guys. If you have an order and it's over $250, please don't use the code. Okay. Just let me know you want to do the class but don't use the code. And the reason why is because when you have a $250 order, if you don't use the code, then you will get host rewards or host benefits, which is 10% of the order back in your pocket as far as um, being able to order extra items. So if you ordered a $250 order, that means you get 10% or $25 to spend on whatever you like, okay? And so it's a good little perk. And I sometimes see people get really close to the 250 mark, but they must not realize and um and they put their order through and it's not quite there so that makes me a bit sad because we don't get host benefits on that order all right so i want to show you one more thing and it's up towards the back here and it's this gorgeous gingham paper it's on this page it's called the gingham cottage suite suite um, i don't have the wreaths yet i'm holding out because i i haven't um i've had a lot of wreaths so i tend to like wreaths a lot um and i haven't got this one yet because I've had a lot of reefs in the past but I probably will end up getting it because I'm like I said I'm a sucker for them but what I did get was this paper okay what I realized when I ordered the paper I just sat down placed the order and didn't think too much about it 
um, this this paper is fifty three dollars, and like when I think I was in the throes of ordering, I went, "Hang on a second, why is the paper three fifty three dollars?" And that is because this paper pack, instead of being twelve sheets in a pack, it's forty eight, so it's four times the size. So it's actually really good value because you're getting more. Um, even though the price is more, it's not as much more as it should be for four times the size of the pack. So really, really cool paper, lots and lots of different colours, and they're all gingham designs. So does anyone love gingham? Because I have a thing for gingham. Gingham is awesome. And we have a whole bunch of different colours in here. See, the other thing is there's four sheets of each, okay? So if you want to make multiple cards or if you're a demonstrator wanting to run classes, then this paper is going to really suit you because you you have so many options. So some of them are the same on both, like same color on both sides, um, but different types of gingham. This one is black on one side and orange pumpkin pie on the other. This one is garden green. On one side, it's kind of like big checks and the other side, it's small checks. Can you see that? And as you go through, there's smoky slate, there's black, there's um, this is mint macaron, which is really nice and small and large as you can see there's black and orange black and orange which to me looks a bit halloweeny for anyone who does halloween with i'm not a halloween person but some people are um, then we have small orange gingham on the other side we have white and gray we have blushing bride and white small and large see how many there are fantastic we've got black small gingham and on the other side diagonal gingham gingham can't say you can't talk properly and we have uh, our real red, big and small. I like the I like this. This is so saffron. Um, I really like the so saffron gingham. I think it's really nice. So big and small, one side to the other. And we have, I believe this is calypso coral, small and large. And we have black and white again. Okay, it's got some diagonal ones there as well. So it's good fun. All right. So. Um, I have been sort of looking at this today and thinking I really want to make a card with it so I'm going to do that and I am going to go through I'm deciding between I'm deciding between the mint macaron which is very nice because it's a nice light green and the um, the so saffron they're the two colors I really like the look of although the mint you can probably do a little bit more Christmassy with that maybe I don't know what do you think there's the mint macaron Hey Lorraine, nice to see you. And then there's the So Saffron. Aren't they nice? So Saffron says Megan. You know, So Saffron is a colour I used to intensely dislike. <laughs> I did not like it at all, but it has grown on me over the years and I've I'm much more likely to use it than I ever was. All right, so you can see these are very similar designs, a little bit different. This one's got like squares and wide stripes this is like more of a sketchy kind of a look so there you know there's a few different designs in there i know the host dsp did anyone see that thanks dream for mentioning that um it's at the back where all the host things live and if you're putting an order in 250 dollars or more you get to be the host for that order which is why you get rewards right but you can with your rewards if you want to. The only time you can get rewards is when you're putting in an order over 250 and you can use them to get these if you want to. You can get anything. But this paper, the Celebrate Everything 12 by 12, this is another 48 sheet pack. All right. So this is, if you're using host rewards, this is $31. And if you had a $310 order, you're going to get that completely for free. If you have a $250 order, it's only going to cost you $6. So it's really, really cool. You just pay the difference if you don't quite get there. But it's got some really nice designs in it. And I'd like to, if anyone has it, I'd love to see it because um, there's a lot of different designs in there and you can't see them all in the catalogue. So I'm going to have to get it just so that I can see it. You missed it? Did you say you missed it, Megan, or do you mean you bought it? You got it. So I'm deciding, do I want... I'm thinking maybe I will use the So Saffron, partly because um, Megan said So Saffron and she was the first person. Or you could do both. Hmm. Yes, yeah, you could. That would be interesting. But you were the first, Megan, so I'm going to say we go with So Saffron. And Joan's now said Mint Macaron. Sorry, Joan, you missed up, messed up and um, you're a little bit too slow. So sorry. Um, oh, yes, please. I'd love a picture, Megan. That would be great. All right. So I'm thinking we're going to go with this. And I've got 
All right. So I'm going to grab some sew saffron paper. So sew saffron is a is a very um, a soft yellow. I would describe it um, when you know if you put it next to the other yellows, daffodil is a lot brighter. Um, and mango melody is almost on its way it's the color of a ripe mango it's almost on its way to orange um, and then you've got crushed curry which is a lot stronger as well like a strong gold yellow so i'm just going to cut this down and i'm going to make it card front size so it's 14.3 centimeters by 10 and that's card front size here in australia and you would adjust if you're in the US, you would use your normal cut front size. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm making I'm making I'm making this up as I go along. You know how I am, right? I am deciding whether I want to. Okay, I'm thinking. I did think about die cutting it and making a circle, but I'm not going to. I'm going to cut this at the 8 centimeter mark and we're going to go 12 which is a kind of nice smaller rectangle size that fits well on the front of a card 8 by 12 is, is a size I use quite often all right so it's going to go right there in the middle you know what I'm going to bring it down I'm going to cut a little bit smaller because I've just made a I'm going to go I'm going to go 7 by 11 so we're coming down a centimetre on each side. And then I'm going to go for my black. Like I said, I'm making this up as I go. I'm standing up. And when I start standing up, it, things are serious now. <laughs> so we're going to go 11 and a half because it's half a centimetre bigger. By what do we say seven? So we go seven and a half. Now sometimes um, when you cut black cardstock, black cardstock seems to be a little bit softer, and sometimes you get a fuzzy edge with it. Has anyone else noticed that? Sometimes it means that your your blades and your trimmer need replacing, and sometimes it's just the softness of your your black paper. Use a sanding tool or even an emery board to go around the edges. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. I will look in the online store. Didn't think of that. Thank you for that tip. All right, so I'm going to go, I'm going to edge this in black because yellow and black is always a good combination. It just looks good. I don't know why it looks so good. It just does. So I'm going with the smaller gingham being visible. Straight onto the black. All right. And I've got I've got a couple of I'm thinking I've got a vellum circle here so that that might look quite nice. So I'm going to go on that I think. And I think because we can, we're going to go with our tree lot dies again. And the trees for sale and I'm going to grab a piece of white and we're going to stamp some trees oh we've already got the trees out huh, look at that didn't even didn't even put them back from before so I'm thinking maybe we'll go with um, mint macaron again I'm using that color a bit tonight I seem to go through stages where I use a particular color and black twine oh that'd be nice yes I'm going to get my mat so I can get a better solid image because it is a solid image stamp. Do I actually, you know, I think I might go with a smaller, a smaller, I'm going to go with a couple of smaller dies, smaller stamps. So I'm going to use my garden green on my mint macaron because it's going to be a bit stronger. That's nice, isn't it? They're two colours. I don't know whether I would have thought to put together, but they look rather good. I can 
hear the wind outside and the, the rain. Boy, is it coming down. Whoops, wrong colour. I just went into the dark green instead of the mint. Whoopsie daisy. Yes, exactly. Sometimes you do need to clean the gutter in the trimmer. That's a good good thing to think about as well. I'm actually going to try doing one. Oh, this, this is all right. I'll just leave it like that. Try doing one stamped off and see how that looks. And then put that back in the pack and get out the detail one. And go garden green again. I'll decide which ones look best. Should we puff paint? I think we maybe should. I think puff paint might be a nice a nice thing to do here. All right. I've got a few there to pick from. Close up my it's howling there. Yeah, in it's it's been a bit crazy here today as well, Myri. Black twine, yes, that might be nice. I feel like we will need some more black somewhere. I have to decide where. All right, so. I just realised where that other piece of white was that I was looking for. <laughs> Look, there it is. <laughs> it's covered in dogs. <laughs> I think I went overboard on the dogs before, don't you? So let's just pop this in here. Base plate. Trees. Dies. Um, you can also cut these um, little detailed trees as well. I'm not. I'm using it to cut out the stems, but you can also cut out those detailed trees, which are very pretty. In fact, I was thinking I might cut some of those out of that lovely, that um, white glitter paper. I think they'd look rather nice. All right, so I'm going to pop that through. Bring that through. This is once we've cut these, they're going to come together quite quickly. Um, it won't take long at all. There's my other tree. So yeah, there won't be a lot of the card to do once we've got these cut out. It's very quick and easy to finish. So I'm going to cut out, I'm thinking I might do the lighter one just to have something with a bit more contrast. So let's do him. There we go. You guys have all gone very quiet. Either you're mesmerized or are you all still there? <laughs> all right, so now we have three trees. And I'll put this out of the way. So let's see what we've got. All right, so I've got my vellum circle. I've got a my big tree here and I'm going to put one little tree kind of behind here and one in front now you we can put them straight across or we could they don't have to be they could I mean they could kind of be one in front of the other I'm actually thinking I'm going to put the the first tree on just straight it's flat and then I'm going to pop these little trees 
on a couple of dimensionals. Still here? <laughs> oh, good. So, yeah, I've either mesmerized everybody or put you all to sleep, I think. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'm not kidding, Michelle, by the way. Send me your, send me your um, um, address. I'll send that card to you. But I'll have to make a copy of it first because I really like it. <laughs> right, so this is going to end up on here like this. I think that's rather nice. You could just do a white circle too. It wouldn't have to be a vellum circle. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of vellum in the, any shape or form. I just love it. Um, and, you know, you could sponge a colour over the back. So you've got some other colour, maybe some, I don't know, maybe some, um, some, some of the yellow or even pool party or something like that to have in the sky but because we've got these trees here that means we've got room here to put dimensionals behind and they won't be seen so let's do that we'll put one up the top there one over this side three is probably plenty and let's pop that kind of right here in the middle so it's kind of centered I'm actually going to throw on some dimensionals you can just use normal dimensionals or you could go with black ones because we're using black so black ones are very handy if you really don't want to see your dimensionals and I'll show you why well when you put them on you think well what's the difference but when you take the backs off oh where did they go <laughs> they're there but they're very hard to see because the black on the black is really almost makes them disappear so that's kind of cool Right, so I'm going to position this so it's centered as much as I can. Just like that. All right, now I have got a um, dauber. Sorry, give me one second. I'm in the middle of a live demo. Sorry? Great, thank you. Thanks, Ben. That was a mum, I need some money. It's my money. <laughs> I'm in the live, darling. Oh dear. Not asking for your money. All right. So, um, just looking to see if I have a brand new dimensional or one that I can use because I want to. I want to zip around in so saffron. Extra extraordinary cards. Do you think? You think so really all right so I'm just going to zip around this with the yellow we still have to add a sentiment of course Whoop. I choose something else and sometimes with a lighter color like this you can just slide and add color straight from the ink pad. And that looks probably even better actually. All right, I'm looking, I'm really liking this. I think it's really cute. Now this we know is seven centimeters across. The yellow is seven centimeters across. I could put a label of some kind here, which would look nice. Like we've got that nice label from the Holly dye. That would look really good actually. Or I'm deciding whether I do that or I just cut a strip and put it straight across. That would look nice as well. Um, and we stamp on that. So if I wanted to use this label it would go here like that do we like that or do we just want to strip what do we think oh what happened to the puff paint i forgot all about the puff paint sorry give me one second i will grab the puff paint thank you <laughs> you guys are ser uh, seriously my brain is fried at the moment all right so what can i tell you about puff paint we've had this before and it's back okay you want to shake it Label, okay, label it is, girls. That's what we're going to do. All right, so what you're going to do is it's like a liquid and you're just going to 
use the nozzle to spread it and make it go where you want it to go. And you don't want to cover the whole thing because you still want to see the green and it's going to kind of mix with the green a little bit anyway. But you don't want to um, you don't want to cover it all up is what I'm saying. All right, it's just like that. A little bit more. And, and just get the nozzle to spread it where you want it. And a little bit more. It's going to show up probably more on this darker one. I probably should have done this before I stuck them down, but I will. It's still going to work. Whoop, I just used way too much in that spot, but I will. You know, that's that's just a little bit of a... They must have had a snowstorm and, and uh, the, snow, the, the snow came down uh, heavier in some places than others. Just like that. All right. Happy with that. The other thing is the lids of these and also huh, here's something interesting. This is exactly the same shape and size as the pearlescent effects. They're exactly the same. So you need to make sure you're reading it so you don't use your white pearl, pearl effects instead of your snow, snowfall puff paint, okay, because they look exactly the same. The other thing is the lids are clear. So when you put your lid down, put it down and remember where you put it because if you don't, you won't be able to find it again because it's clear and you won't be able to find it. So that's just a couple of little tips from me and ask me how I know. All right, here we go. How do you know when to stop heating? When it puffs, basically. And if you keep going like way past puff time, you could burn it. You run the risk of burning your project. So watch me not do that, okay? I'm going to just turn it up to the highest setting. You can start it on the lowest setting if you're worried about it. But it takes a little minute for the heat tool to heat up. And then you'll see it start to puff. Here it goes. Now the good thing is you can always add more puff paint if any of it's not puffy enough. You can just add more. I'm going to say that's done and bring it up so you can see it. Now, can you kind of see that? And when I turn it sideways, you should be able to see how dimensional that is. Can you see it? Ah, yeah, as soon as you see it puff up, you move on to the next bit. But I think it looks amazing. Don't you think that looks amazing? So that's your puff paint totally different it gives you a really um, interesting effect if you're using puff paint on stamps like this on ink you will pick up some of the ink colors so can you see some of the green has been picked up with the puff paint it's kind of mixed and we've got half white half green which is actually really pretty however if you didn't want that if you don't like that then use your puff paint on DSP you know like if you've got a Santa maybe one of the Santas out of the um, the train set um, then you can use um, you can use the puff paint on the trim on their um, on his hat or something like that on the paper and obviously it's not going to pick up any ink from that. So if you don't like that inky look, I love the fact it feels it feels puffy. It feels like soft, almost like styrofoam, <laughs> but very soft and it makes you want to touch it. It's a real tactile thing. Um, Nari, we did this, um, we did this, we did the other cards that I did with that, those cards in our team, where, where is it, um, in our team one last night that you weren't able to come to. How's your hubby, by the way? Is he better? It does look very good and it's really easy. If you've got a heat tool, this is a super easy thing to use. Here you go, Nari, that's what we made last night, one of those with the puff paint as well. Okay, so um, see, and now you got to see it used after all.
All right, so let's very quickly, um, I'm going to stamp. I'm going to use the garden green because that's the colour. Or I could use black as well because um, exactly the scent, for the sentiment. I could use black because we've got black here around around this edge. But I think, I think I'll just use the garden green and I'm deciding which sentiment. Now, this label matches with the, the holly stamp set, the Vows of Holly, which is the one I'm using for the class. Um, and the good thing about using the holly stamp set is that all the sentiments fit in the label, all right? So that's a really cool little thing. Give me a second while I find it because I've just put it down somewhere. Here it is. Found it under underneath a bunch of stuff because that's how I that's how I am. So I'm thinking, well, we go season's greetings. We can go Christmas wishes. These are big, but they both fit on the label. Then we've got the little one that say from your homes, from our home to yours and to friends near and far. We've also got joy and peace down here as well. Oh, hi, Susie. You're a newbie. Yes, lovely to have you. <laughs> oh, you like the white one? Thank you, Tina. All right, so which sentiment will we go with? Does anyone care? Does anyone? Season's greetings, says Donna. All right, so it is. Season's greetings. Season's greetings. Let's put that to one side for a second. Get up with my stamp, with my block, I mean. Use it on my white piece. And I've got my garden green ink pad here. Just gently tap that. Just a word, I think most of you know this already, but just in case for anyone who doesn't, when you ink up a stamp, don't press your stamp into the ink pad. I see people press really, really hard, and that's when you end up with ink all around your stamp. Instead, just really lightly tap, little tiny taps. Okay, that's enough to pick up the ink you need. Then when you go down, place your stamp down, straight down and straight up. Don't do what I see everyone doing, which is this. They rock it backwards and forwards, and I think they think it's going to get them a better image. All it does is it spreads any ink you might have extra on here onto your card, and that's not what you want. So you just go straight down, straight up, and that way you get a much, much better image. That's why Stamparatuses um, always get a great image, because they go straight down and straight up, right? All right, so I'm going to put this on here. As you can see, the sentiment fits perfectly. Love, love, love these. And I'm going to move that out of the way, bring my big shot, sorry, my cut and emboss machine back in. Sometimes I think maybe people like to watch me because um, because I say all the wrong things sometimes. <laughs> and hey, that's just how it goes. And I know you're not laughing at me. You're laughing with me, right? Good morning, Judy. Nice to see you. All right, so let's just push that through. He's better. Oh, that's a hard road for you guys. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're still smiling. But, yeah, that's hard. I'm sorry to hear it. Now, can I just tell you guys, I think most of you have heard me talking about the joining special this month, which is the planner. Um, if anyone would like to see it, I've got it right behind me and I'm happy to show it to you. Um, the reason that I'm talking about it is because we have something coming up in um, November that is super, super special and that is our very first on stage or Stampin' Up! event, which is a big stamping event for all demonstrators who want to go. Um, they have a live one that goes for three days in Vienna over in Europe. And they're going to have one here in Sydney that will go for one day in November, okay? But registrations open soon and you have to be a demonstrator if you want to go. And only demonstrators can go. You can't go if you're a customer. So my suggestion is if you would like to go to that, then this is a fantastic time to join, okay? Um, when you... Um, when you join, you have the option to attend any of the Stampin' Up! events that they have for you, and it's fantastic. So if anyone wants to see the planner or has any questions about that, I'm very, very happy to answer them. Um, I'm well, thanks, Heather. Thank you for asking. 
Um, but I'm, I have lots and lots of information. I can send you out info if you want more information about it. Being a demonstrator is just like being a customer, but you get special perks. Okay, so it's the best way to get fantastic value. It's the most value that you can get from Stampin' Up! is by being a demonstrator. Um, I've been one now for 16 years and almost 16 years, and I absolutely love it. Um, best thing, best decision ever. So if that's something that you think you'd like to give a try, if you'd like to see what it's all about and you're interested in coming along to any of our events, um, please just sing out, send me a message and I'll send you some information or answer any questions that you might have. And I cannot recommend it highly enough. My life totally, you might not want your life changed, but I know in my case I am so, so glad that I did become a demonstrator because it certainly has been a huge change and a big improvement for me. So now let me just get this centered. And there we go. Do you think we need bling, Judy? It would look good on black, wouldn't it? Yeah. Where would we put bling if we were going to put bling? You know, maybe a little bit of gold. Maybe some gold of these. What do you think? Take your pick tool. <laughs> did I say bling? Yes, I did. You come to the right place. There was, there's always bling here. All right, let me pop a few little gold gold thingies on. I'll move that over. There we go. How about that? What do you think? Do we like this? It's a bit different, isn't it, with the with the puff paint? Really kind of takes it up to the next level. Thanks for reminding me, Megan. <laughs> oh, black dots would look good. Yeah, I didn't think of those. <laughs> I, I'm well aware the only reason you're still here is because there's bling. So that's absolutely fine. I don't even think I'm going to add a ribbon to this one. I'm very happy with it just the way it is, and um, I think that's fine. You could certainly, if you wanted to add a ribbon, we've got so many ribbon choices at the moment. This is really pretty. This is the gold uh, woven ribbon with the with the thread through it. It's called satin edged ribbon, the gold satin edged ribbon. It's beautiful, and that would look quite nice. We could definitely we could definitely whack that on there, and it would be very pretty. But I don't think we need to. I think we can. Just leave it like it is. So there we go. We have two cute cards tonight. Do we have a favourite? Which one do you think we like? Oh, it looks like I've lost the first one anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. I lost it. I can't send it now. Oh, look what I've just found. Look, I told you I had it here somewhere. There's those pearlized dots that the black, as you can see, it's more of a grey silver, the red and the white pearls. I'll hold them up so you can see them. Nice, huh? Oh, you're very welcome, guys. You like the second one. Is that right? And here's the other one. There it is. Found it. Here we go. There's our two cards tonight. I managed to make my camera crooked. There we go. That's better. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, yeah, there's the puppy dog. He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> If anyone has any questions before we go, otherwise I'm going to, <laughs> that's funny. Thank you. I'm really glad you like them. Um, don't forget, if you didn't catch the beginning, you're always welcome to go back. Um, if anyone's interested in doing the online class, you can do tutorial only, no matter where you are in the world. The tutorial is $20 Australian and you get all the instructions and measurements to make the cards. Um, the cards will be up on my blog and here on my uh, Facebook page over the next few days. Okay, so look out for those. If you wanted to go ahead and order and just let me know you want to do the class or use the class code and um, as soon as you place a $50 order, I will also send you all the supplies. So there we go. They are fun. Thank you so much. Sweet dreams to you too, Jean. I hope you sleep well and uh, we'll see you on our next live maybe. Thanks everyone for joining me tonight. And um, don't forget, I'm here every Friday and Sunday night. See you soon. Bye-bye.